Welcome to Alien Skills. Today we are talking about Tor networks. If you are planning to watch this video, I can assure you that this whole channel is meant for you. So consider subscribing and click on the bell icon below if you want to stay updated. Once upon a time, in a very far place, there lived a girl called Alice. This is a house. See the smoke, she might be cooking something yummy. The sun went down and the darkness covers the area. Alice finished having her dinner she cooked and decided to come out to browse the internet. Here she is. And yeah, she is checking different fashion websites to see what they have. Of course she is thinking about shopping those things. But then suddenly she knows she don't need those items because she has enough things in her wardrobe now. Also after thinking about the money, she decided to go with her brains and decided not to buy that stuff. Good for her, she went inside her house happily and had a good sleep. The sun rises in the east and it's a very pleasant sunny day. Alice woke up, had her breakfast and came outside to work. She was working when she sees the advertisement of the dress she was trying to shop yesterday night. She keeps seeing this advertisement frequently and finally she gave up and she bought that item. You'll end up buying things you don't want because they keep on showing you the advertisements of the things you like based on your browsing habits. Who is this fella now? This guy is Bob. He is browsing the internet from his desktop as you can see. The internet is very slow and unreliable and Bob is really angry. He decided to change his internet service provider. He is searching for the best broadband networks in his area. He found some good providers with good reviews. Suddenly Bob got one email from his current internet service provider. The mail is asking Bob to upgrade his current plan and pay them more money. To get more speed. Bob finally thought what the hell, I'll just upgrade then and he will end up upgrading the plan. Why this problem happened? This problem happened because internet service providers can see what you're doing online. Now let's analyze the cause. Both these problems came because the websites and your internet service providers can track your activities. What is the solution then? The first solution is to prevent the websites from knowing who is visiting them by hiding your IP address. The second solution is to encrypt the data sent through the network so that the internet service providers cannot see your browsing data. You can achieve this by using a Tor network. Let's dive in for more details. This is the normal internet browsing. This is your PC, the internet, the google.com server. You type google.com and you are searching for a better internet connection. This is your network packet. The packet will go through the internet to the google.com server. Oh, now who is this guy here? This guy can be your internet service provider, your or another country's government, etc. He is trying to sniff your data here. This guy can see your IP address and can see that you are visiting google.com and you have searched for a better internet connection. So if this guy is your internet service provider, he will just send a mail to you asking you to upgrade your plan and give them more money. If this guy is a government, since he can see which site you are visiting, he can block any site he wants in his country. Oh and who is this woman here? I think she's the google.com admin. Now she can see that you, based on your IP address, is searching for a better internet connection and she can now show you advertisements for better internet connections or something to make you shop if you have searched to shop something. Now let's see how a Tor based internet browsing looks like. So your PC here, you type google.com and you are searching for a better internet connection. This is the Tor directory server. I will explain this in some time. When you search, your Tor browser will send a request called create a Tor circuit request to the Tor directory server. A Tor directory server is a server which has a list of all the available nodes in the Tor networks. This server 
will return an entry node, a middle node and exit node back to your Tor browser. Here is our entry node, middle node and exit node in the internet. And here is the google.com server. This is your normal network packet. What the Tor browser will do is, it will first encrypt the network packet with the exit nodes key. This can be decrypted only by exit node. The encrypted packet is again encrypted by the middle nodes key. This layer can be decrypted only by the middle node. This packet is again encrypted by the entry nodes key. And this layer can only be decrypted by entry nodes key. So you can see there are three layers of encryption added here. These layers look like onion layers. And hence the Tor networking protocol is also called onion routing. Let's see how the flow works. The packet will first reach the entry node. The entry node will peel off the first layer like we peel off the layer of an onion. So you see this blinking layer. This layer was encrypted with entry nodes key and only the entry node can decrypt it. So this entry node is going to peel off this layer and decrypt this layer. So that layer is gone. You can see even after the decryption, nobody can read the data because it is encrypted with middle nodes key. So your data is safe here. Now the entry node knows that the request should be forwarded to the middle node. So it is sending the request to the middle node. The middle node will peel off the second layer. See the blinking layer here. You remember this layer was encrypted with middle nodes key and only middle node can decrypt this. So middle node will now decrypt this layer. Boom, it's gone. Even after decryption, as you can see, still nobody can read the data because it is encrypted with the exit nodes key. So your data is safe here too. Now the middle node knows that the request should be forwarded to the exit node. Once the packet reaches the exit node, the exit node will peel off the third layer. This layer was encrypted with exit nodes key and only exit node can decrypt it. As you can see, the third encryption layer is decrypted by the exit node. And you can see that now the network packet is not having any encryption. So if somebody sniffs the data at the exit node or between the exit node and the Google server, they can read the data. Because of this, the weakest point of security in a Tor network is the exit node. Whoever is in control of the exit node can see your data, but they still cannot track you. Now the exit node knows the request has to be forwarded to the google.com server and the package will reach the google.com server. Now our guy comes. Do you remember him? He can be your internet service provider or some government. So this guy is trying to sniff the data here. He can only see that the request is going from entry node IP to middle node IP. Also he cannot see what is the content of the packet as it has been decrypted with middle nodes key and only the middle node can decrypt it. So this guy cannot know which site you are visiting. He cannot see what you have searched for. And let's take the case of google.com admin. Google.com's admin can see what we have searched for because at this point the exit node already decrypted the last layer of encryption and Google.com can read this. So Google knows that you have searched for better internet connection and Google decides to show advertisement of broadband networks to you. To you means basically from which IP they have got the request. That will be the exit nodes IP. So Google will start giving the advertisements to the request coming from the exit node IP. But every time you visit a website in a Tor browser, they will create a new Tor circuit. So the next time, you will be having a different entry, middle and exit node. But Google will serve the advertisement to the old exit node IP only, and thus it will not reach back to you. I hope you understand the basis of Tor networks now. Let's see how to install Tor browser now. So let's start installing the Tor browser. So you open Google Chrome. Search for download Tor browser. Click on this link. Uh, select Microsoft Windows and uh, download the 64-bit version. So I'm using the 64-bit of Windows, so I'll use this one. 
So if you're using the 32 bit, you can use uh, 32 bit version. Uh, let's wait for the download to finish. It's done. Go to the download folder. Double click the installation file. Select your preferred language and uh, select your destination folder. I have selected uh, D drive, tools, and then Tor browser. So, this is where the Tor browser will be installed. Yep, I keep both checked. Minimize all these windows or close all these windows. If the door is blocked in your country, click on Configure, select a built-in bridge. So for me, in most of the countries it's not blocked, so I don't want to go and click on Configure, so I just click Connect. It will take some time. And uh, it's loaded now. Uh, you try browsing YouTube.com. Yep, it's loading. Click on the screen padlock icon. You can see the talk circuit. You remember I told you there is a entry node, middle node, and exit node. So this Germany is the entry node, Switzerland is the middle node, and the third Germany is the exit node. So let's see what will happen if we visit another website. Let's say google.com. you see the circuit here it is germany germany united states if you want to have a new circuit click on new circuit it goes through germany finland and netherlands just to be sure just search for your ip address what is my ip so it's here one zero nine two zero one one three three one zero it's exactly the same as the exit nodes ip here see the netherlands ip if you like this video Consider clicking the subscribe button and the bell icon below. See you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.